So this, um, I want to show you guys how to graph a line using slope-intercept form. So this is a very, very important form, uh, intercept, INT, slope for, for, for uh, short. Slope-intercept form of a linear equation, okay? Has to be a linear equation. Y equals mx plus b. I don't care. Man, you guys are going to see this over and over and over and over and over. No matter how far you go, you need to know this form. You have to know it. This b represents a y-intercept. And remember that we talked about a y-intercept. It is a point, an ordered pair, on the y-axis where the x-coordinate is 0. m, in this case, is my slope. Change in y over change in x, right? It's not a point. It is a rate of change. Okay, so using that knowledge... Actually, let me do an example. Let's say, it doesn't even matter. 2x minus 3y... Actually, I'm going to make up... Let's do 2y is equal to negative 3x uh, plus 4. For example, I want to graph this using slope-intercept form. Okay, graph this linear equation using slope-intercept form. Now, I know that this is linear because there's no square root, there's no you know, exponent on y or x. It's a very basic type of form of an equation. But if I want to graph it using slope-intercept form, then obviously I have to put it in slope-intercept form. Y has to be isolated on the left. In this case, Y is not completely isolated. I have to get rid of the 2 as its coefficient. So everything is going to get divided by 2. Divide this by 2, I'm going to get Y. Divide this by 2, I'm going to get negative 3 over 2X. Divide this by positive 2, I'm going to get 2. Divide everything by 2. Then, lucky me, it's now in slope-intercept form where the y-intercept is equal to 2, but it is an ordered pair where the x-coordinate is 0, and the slope is the coefficient of x, which in this case is negative 3 halves. And it is a negative slope, which means I am expecting this graph to decrease. Okay? Decrease. Go down. Right? Okay. All right, so let's graph it. It's very simple. So all you really need to graph a line is two points, but if you want more than two points, that's fine too, just for accuracy. Now, you know, my lines are not perfect, so rough sketching here, okay? <laughs> Got one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go ahead and label. I'm counting by, you know, one. Each tick is one mark, even though I'm marking every other as another second. So one, two, three, four, blah. Start at your y-intercept. My y-intercept is a point on the y-axis. The x-coordinate is 0. In this case, the y-intercept is positive 2. This is my first point on this graph. This is not a point. This is a rate of change. Now, I can represent it as the opposite of 3 halves. I could put the negative in the top, or I could put the negative on the bottom. Okay? They both mean the same thing. We typically don't write a fraction with a negative on the bottom. We either put it on top or in the front. But when I'm dealing with rate of change, it doesn't necessarily matter. So I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's say I use this, where the negative is on top. This is my change in y, meaning I'm going down in the vertical direction, negative. Down, three units. One, two, three. Down, one, two, three units. Then I'm going in the positive x direction, two units. One, two. Then I drop my next point. If I want another point, I'm going to go down again, another, three units. One, two, three. To the right, two units. One, two, before I drop my next point. Notice that I'm creating a line. Notice that it's decreasing, which is what I expect for a negative slope. If I use this situation where I say, well, okay, what if I put the negative on the bottom? Then the y, the change in y is positive 3. So from here, I can go up 1, 2, 3 units. But then the negative is on the bottom, so that's the negative x direction, which is left. So in this case, I would go up 3 units and to the left, two units. But notice that it gives me the same line anyway. It doesn't necessarily matter. So if you guys, oh wow, that is not, sorry. Oh my god, sorry. I cannot draw a straight line. I like that. Let me just go slowly here. Okay. <laughs> if you guys, just, this is a line, okay? It's not beautiful, but it's a line. I guess I could use, that doesn't matter. Next time I'll use the beautiful things on here to make it perfect, but um, uh, it doesn't matter which scenario I use. I could go down three into the right two or up three into the left two. I still create this line with a negative slope that I can visually see. So you can always quickly check to make sure that you're graphing correctly based on that. 
If it's a negative slope, does the line have a negative slope? Does it decrease? Okay. Um, 